Hey everybody, Hard Tacticon is back from what is definitely the longest hiatus in Hard Tacticon history. And I am bringing you the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Galactus Odyssey Collection, the Botropolis Rescue Mission, with some really, really cool bots in here. It's a complete set to come all together and create kind of a rescue mission for our main bird cat thing, Skylinks. So let's check it out. Transformers Botropolis Rescue Mission. Let's get that fixed again. Let's go ahead and get it open. I have yet to open this. I haven't seen it in real life. So I am excited as y'all are with my dull freaking knife. Now, if you're wondering, I have actually gotten a new job over the last few years as a camper sales professional. And while it has taken up a lot of my time, it has also more than doubled my annual salary, which means more Transformers, more expensive Transformers like this guy. And look at this set. Oh man, I'm already getting excited. Look at that. That is already just too cool. I mean, I'm really, really loving these base mode Transformers they're coming out with for the Earthrise line. I mean, I just love making all these bases. I have actually already bought, not including this guy, three Ironworks. Now, one of them was four retro or repro labels. So, um, there's that. But, yeah. Um, let me get this guy out, or these guys out. It's a whole crew. And we're going to take a further look at it. You know, in fact, let's look at the box. Look at all that cool artwork right there. That is really cool. Kind of like a star map. Pull out the plastic tray and uh, you got that whole symbol thing. And of course, you got, let's just move the box out of the way. Locking my display all over the place. Let's just back it up. How about that? You got this cool thing with a quick, I believe, description on the front or the back in multiple languages this thing and tons of instructions so i'm going to take a moment to free a space crew from their plastic prison and i will be right back all right so once getting them out of the box upon initial inspection these are not just cheap repaints they are actually really good quality Somebody decided they were gonna make some really good new characters, even though that these guys and these guys are pretty much the same name, but we're gonna make up some new names for these guys. Now, one thing I do wanna say is, between the last bit of the video you saw and now, it's actually been quite a few minutes, and here's why. This joint on Ironworks, which I'm probably gonna call like Moonworks or something like that would not move. I actually had to disassemble this screw because if you look right there, well, I guess right there, you can see that it was actually glued. And <laughs> that is crazy. But no loose limbs on these guys. I mean, look at that. I mean, really great. Just Bumping up on over air there. Over air, I mean, in great detail. I mean, there's no smudges or blotchiness. Great figures. And I'm really excited to have these because they're going to make some great partners to rescue and hang out with Skylinks, who is an awesome figure in its own. So, first off, let's look at Moonworks right here. He's got some really, really great detail. Let's bring it in closer. Look at that beautiful face. White helmet, blue visor, silver faceplate with white reds and blues, just all American style here. Looking awesome. 
turning it around, he's got some gray, uh, I guess, road plates, whatever you want to call those, and some weaponry. And of course, his hook is red, and that is really cool. Of course, Autobot symbol there. Looks very Skylinksy. Over here, <laughs> looking very awesome. I mean, you can tell this guy is just warning you to stay away. I mean, yellow arrows and lots of grays and blues, reds. No whites, though. Some nice light blue windows there. Really like the gold in his chest and in his weaponry, whatever you want to call that. And his face is all gold. I would have liked a red or a blue eyes right there. Oh, hold on. Okay, they are a light blue. If, let's see if we can. Uh, you can't really tell. My lighting is not quite good enough. Maybe you can tell there, but it's the same color as that. But very, very awesome. Now, of course, we got our little guys here. We got this guy. I think this guy is called, um, let me check the instructions. Yep, loud old instructions. Let's see. Mr. Moonrock. This guy is called Moonrock. And he is looking really cool. Again, sporting that red and white with some grays and a nice blue face. And then we have Missile Master who is sporting this really awesome missile. Maybe some kind of shuttle seeker, I don't know. Again, with a blue face, gray body, red details, silver details. The, uh, yeah, the silver gunmetal details are a little lighter than this color right here, which is really cool. Now, of course, we got our shuttle guys right here so very cool again blue face red helmet lots of whites and reds really awesome and I think this is Fusor here actually has some silver paint apps to go with this kind of off whiteness actually so yeah, little black guns, they look like that. Oh, and some yellow. I didn't notice that yet. Now, top it off, we have a repaint of Double Dealer's Missile, which is used for these guys, so you can get the whole kind of launch scene going on. So my lights kind of baking it out but really really cool extra accessory they normally don't do that you know I mean it's extra molding there so yeah I mean awesome figures so let's take some time to get these guys well you know what before we do that let's uh, do a little bit of comparison so let me move these guys out of the way so they're less distracting and the missile and Ironworks, Moonworks, whatever. Here we have Over Air. And we also have Autobot Hot House right next to them. Same exact figure, just different color scheme. And man, what a huge difference that makes. I mean, they really do look like two very different bots on two very different missions. Now, considering this guy is supposed to turn into some kind of firehouse, I do kind of like giving him the double length gun. That way it almost looks like a hose. But on this, it almost looks like some kind of extra antenna or something. And of course, after the video, I'm going to be doing a lot of comparisons in picture form. Now for Ironworks, so to stick with the Generation Selects comparison, let's move over here out of the way and 
Southgate Crease Pit right here, which is repro labeled. And I'm glad I'm bringing him into the picture because it shows even with repro labels on this guy and these bright colorings, this guy is still standing on his own and standing out. I mean, they, they both look great. Now, of course, Grease Pit does come with the different part of the little gas pumps, which in the robot mode I like to use as kind of like a hammer, hammer arm. And he also has this extra piece. So yeah, awesome figures. Now of course to turn them into their alt modes, let's go ahead and start pulling these guys apart. I'm sure you've seen this done a million times, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. And it's pretty obvious. And that's one of the things that makes it fun. You can play around with these, make all kinds of different variations, and do it within minutes instead of, you know, portions of hours. Like I said, nice tight joints. I really like those details right there on the shoulders. Look at that. So I want to put these two together. Oh. And get this put together. Kind of stab them in the knees like this. Kind of get this T looking thing going. And grab, let's see where it's gonna go. Plug the gun in right here. And it's gonna work as kind of like a double plug thing for extra security. Then I like to fold the legs like this, or the leg nubs, whatever you wanna call them. Maybe I should have done this first. Because this is tight. Maybe I should do it like this. Okay, so we got that set. And of course, you use this little gun right here. This extra stabilization right here. Let's do it like this. I like it like this better. And get his crane arm. Remember, this is the part that was glued originally. Pull out this piece using the little notch right there put the hook back on and plug this right there now finally you got one extra ramp you can pretty much put it wherever you want you can put it over here 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 or here I kind of like right here There you go. There is, we're gonna go with Moonworks base mode. Let's push him to the back and go with over air, pull him apart. God, there should almost be like a violence warning on this video, huh? Turn his head around, fold it in. Take his leg nubs, fold them up, and there's a clip right here and a hole right there on each side. And this is the way I like to do them, for right now at least. I'm probably going to discover some new ways to do it. And then you turn it around, you got two ports right there, and plug it toward the windows are showing, like so. And then I'm gonna grab his legs, oh, not so much foot, and grab this and dang, this is really tight. Straighten it out. Oh, 
Maybe we drop it on the floor. Grab it. Straighten it out. Then from there, getting crowded here. Let's see. I don't like to do this. Okay. I want everything to be flat. So we're gonna plug this in right here. Well, I'm just not gonna go that way. We'll do this. That way we've got the option of this in case we want. You know, we could always do it like that. Actually, I like that. And then same thing with the other piece of the arm. I wanna straighten it out, clip it together, turn it upside down. Clip it in here. Also helps a little bit with stabilization. I'm gonna plug this in here. Same thing with the other side. Kinda straighten it out a little bit. Then you're gonna take your little gum pieces. And put those where you want. Where's the last piece? I'm gonna put that right here. Like I said, it's modular, you can do what you want with it. Then we're going to flip this piece out on the other side because that is where big old Mamma Jam and Missile's going. Let's get it to where the Autobot symbol's showing. There we go. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Now from there, you can combine them how you want. Let's uh, go with this. Oh, knocking pieces off now. And breaking it all apart, there we go. Okay, put this back under there. All moving as one piece. And voila. Put a little bit of an angle so you can see. And then from here, go ahead and transform these guys. Just fold the legs up here for Missile Master. Kind of squish them together. There's a little tab right there that's supposed to click in but it's not it doesn't seem to want to there we go and fold these up and in like so I get the other piece moon rock fold his heel spurs out and almost the same thing. Move his arms out of the way. Little tab right there. Oh. Let's see what am I doing wrong here? Now, so this is my first time transforming these guys. They're a little tight. There we go. I'm gonna push it up, little arm notches and tabs. Same thing on the other side. And pull this little five millimeter peg out and plug it in. And there you go. So now you got something to put there. And as for these guys, let's start off with the nose cone. See if I can remember how to do this. I haven't done it in forever. Okay, cool. It's not as tight as my original. Let's see here. I gotta fold this in. 
pull that in. There we go. There's a notch right there. And there, that's a tab. So leave that up. We're going to get this guy plugged up. We'll keep the wings in for now. We're going to twist his legs around. There's some pegs right there, not just right there, on each side. Kind of slide them in there. And there's also a peg and a notch right there. Seems we can. There we go. And get them slid in, plugged in. Just put the arms right there, plug them into the legs, fold the wings down. Then you can plug these guys together right here. If you don't mess them up, like I am. there and actually fold this down or so I say Oh, <laughs> simple trick. Twist the waist and then you'll get everything working. My idiocy. Sometimes it's the simplest of things. And then everything will plug together. So let's put these guys up. And then from there, you can get this little peg right here plug it in oh. Tell you what, let's unplug this do it like this because this is pretty tight there we go now we are set. Oh, and uh, hide the head. We'll just settle for that now. And then you can plug them in. And there you go. You got the really tight coming apart Skylynx shuttle base. And that is awesome. And just to put everything together, here we have Skylinks. And that is the Galactic Rescue Mission set right here. Coming apart again. Plug that back in the hole. And Skylinks is happy that he has been rescued. Get in the frame, Skylinks. So, thank y'all for watching. Hopefully, I can make some more videos like this if I do have time. And uh, so, next time, I'll play.